Whoa. Oh, it's ginormous. And look at these windows. Man, we got ourselves an awesome view up in here. And I love these ceilings. It feels like a small house. Does it cost the same as a small house? It does not. It costs more we're in New York. You guys live here? Yeah, we do. We live uh, a few blocks down. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Two thumbs up. I live here too, but if I say that this is the best part of Park Slope, Brooklyn, no one's gonna believe me because this is my video. This gift shop is the first sign that we're in Brooklyn. Look at all the little earrings and stones. They even have a crystal skull. You might be able to join the Illuminati if you shop here, maybe. Or at least you can let people know you do yoga. Truer words have never been spoken. Next to the eyebrow place, this looks like a full salon where you can get yourself a cut. Crazy how all of these styles are still relevant even today. I think this Vietnamese place is one of those restaurants which is really small on the inside, but then when you come outside, it like triples in size because of the outdoor dining. I don't think these are ever going away. Not that they should, but it's definitely making New York interesting. Next to that, we've got the coffee place that those folks visited. And then next to that, we got the local pharmacy. I don't see a name for this flower, flower shop, but it's probably pretty good. Look at all the cool colors they got. Nice neon flowers right there. But that's just to get your attention. And next to that, we got a taqueria. That right there in red is pizza. And across the street, we have more local coffee. It's an expensive neighborhood, but it has everything and it feels like we're in the village without that high of a price. Here we are at the building, and I'm here with Ben. Dude, nice to see you, man. Nice to see you. Looking at a three bedroom, one bath in Park Slope, Brooklyn. Look at the door, that's beautiful. I'm gonna have Ben's info in the video description. It doesn't work anymore. But at one point, this was probably a massive fireplace and just look at this living room. This is a ton of space. It's 20 feet long by 12 and a half feet wide. And we've got one, two, three, four windows. This one has the worst view because of the bars. But even on a cloudy day, you can see downtown Brooklyn. And we've got a decent view of that busy street corner right over there on Fifth Ave. Now to set this up, you could probably put your entertainment center against this wall and then put seating over here since the fireplace doesn't work. Or you could have the entertainment here and then have a kitchen table in this area. Either way, to have a spot where you can sit and eat at an actual table and a place to hang out and watch movies, that's a definite win. Okay, there's also a TV mount here. That means that the last people had a couch facing this direction for mood lighting. Oh, cool. So it's on a dimmer switch. Yeah. Didn't realize that. Nice feature. One, two, three apartments. That's the whole building right there. And with that front door and these crazy little staircases, it really has that old school feel to it. That's for sure. The first apartment is actually this one right here. And as you come up the stairs here, we've got apartment number two. Why did I do a three? But ours is the best. It's the top floor. How much more or less expensive is this than the others just because it's top floor? Uh, it's $100 less. And it's only one apartment per floor, so you don't have any direct neighbors. Nice full-size dishwasher. This kitchen's really good. Yes, it's an old apartment, but look at that. This oven, this is new. We got an expensive fridge with the double doors. And an ice maker, that you never see in a New York apartment. Also, look at this sink. Decent size, we got the separate little sprayer attachment, which again is handy. But what really makes this cool is these lights and this ceiling. Can you imagine if the landlord were to paint that? That would just take all the pop out of this place. Definitely glad they left it, and I like that you could probably get some stools under this. It's a smaller breakfast ledge, but you know, a couple stools there, that would work well for quick meals. 
Whoa, check out that closet. I don't know if you could keep stuff in here, but I'm glad that it's here. What an awesome bedroom. Look at this. One, two, three windows. That's Fifth Avenue, nice view. And look at how much space you've got in here. This could almost be its own apartment, but it would be kind of a small apartment. But at 13 feet by 12 feet, you wouldn't be doing anything wrong living in here. Probably have your bed over here by the windows. The street's not super busy, plus you've got something cool to look at. And then maybe over here, you could have like a dresser against the brick. And then other stuff can go in either of these corners. You could definitely get like a work from home set up in here too. Look at this closet though. This is fantastic. It goes up really, really high and it even like goes over, you can keep your money and your passport way up in there so that no one steals it from you. Also, what's cool is the lights in here are also on a dimmer. I think that goes for the entire apartment, every single room. Oh, this is an impressive walk-in. This is actually more usable than the one in the other room because you can reach all the shelves. Okay, there's a bus right outside the window, but watch this. And even though our width on this is nine feet, the length is the same as what that other room had, so you could fit a lot of stuff in here. Including the box for some appliance, which I was told isn't going in here. Also love these old school heaters, that's kind of cool. And look, they built some shelves in around it, which is nice. As far as what you put in here, bed probably by the window, storage and everything else, put it over there. But the most interesting part of this place isn't bedroom number three, which is over there. It's actually what's in here. When have you ever seen a bathroom sink like this? Look at this, this hole under here, you can see all the pipes, it's nice and clean. You can store stuff underneath this, but it looks like the kind of sink that when you turn on the faucet, rainbows or something crazy comes out of it. We also got some pretty bizarre looking tile, which I'm actually glad that they kept. And look at that, washer and dryer right there. And it looks like we have a skylight. That's why it's so bright in here. This here be the standing shower. It looks like it opens up. Okay, this is actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And look at this, at the top of the door, it's like, open. A fancy schmancy real estate channel would call that an open concept shower. I'm just happy we've got the wand. Those things are absolutely life changing. This is the smallest bedroom. When I just measured it, I got 10 feet by eight feet. So it's enough for like just the essentials. In this corner is gonna have to be your bed probably get a dresser over there because that's where the door is. But what's nice, look at this, we got a really big heater in here so it will be warm. And we're facing the same things as the living room. This is actually a westward view, so, you know, we'll get a sunset. There will be a nice orange glow passing through those bars. That's how you know you're living in New York City right there. Oh no, I forgot to end the video. This only happens a few times where I get to the end and I don't tell you guys that you can watch more videos up here and ask you to subscribe if you had fun. Thanks for watching.